welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I'll be sharing my three-word style that I uncovered while reading the book Wear It Well by Alison Bornstein. I found Alison Bornstein on Instagram last year, and if you don't follow her, I recommend that you do. She's a fashion stylist who wrote the book Wear It Well. I'm sure by now you probably have heard things about dressing using your three words. Well, Alison Bornstein is who introduced me to this method, and I can confirm that it works. Her book has so many tips and tricks, but one that stuck up was the word wheel aid to help you find your three words that describe your personal style. So today, I wanted to share my three style word and how I chose them with help from her book. For the first word, Alison Bornstein says as follows, your first word is what I'll refer to as your practical word, a word defined by your regulars. This is where your style is currently. It's your comfort zone, a place where you feel confident and at home. When I wanted to find my first word, I did exactly what she says in her book. I pulled all my regulars out of my closet, all the items that I gravitate towards on a daily basis. The items I ended up pulling out were my denim, white tees, sweatpants, sneakers, sweatshirts, and pullover sweaters. At first, I was going with the sporty bubble on the wheel, which yes, I can say I have some sporty elements sometimes on my outfits, but I wouldn't say sporty encompasses all the words that I wanted to describe. So I kept digging within this bubble. As I was thinking more and more of these pieces, the words that stuck up the most for me were the word undone, comfortable, sporty, slouchy, casual. I knew the word sporty was on there, but not as the primary one. However, the word undone encompassed all the words that I saw on my regulars casual, comfortable, oversized, boyish, sporty. So my first word for me, the best describe me or how I would you know, categorize it was undone. For the second word, Allison says, this should be something aspirational, a word that guides you directly towards the future. It's an inspiring North Star that will propel you forward. If the first word represents your go-tos, uh, where you feel more at ease, then the second word is, scintillating, is a scintillating place where creativity, curiosity, and growth come into play. So after I read that for me, I started to pull the pieces that I loved in my wardrobe that came in after my regulars. The ones that when I look at my Pinterest mood boards or photos that I've liked on Instagram, send an inspiration to create and play with my closet. The items that I pulled out were my, mu my button downs, my mock neck long sleeves, my blazers, kitten heels, trousers, accessories that elevate an outfit. So I went back to the wheel and I landed on the classic bubble and started studying the words on this category. The words that jumped at me were sophisticated, effortless, sometimes preppy, elegant, simple, chic, and bourgeois. I may be saying that word wrong, so I'll probably type it at the bottom. <laughs> For me, classic encompassed all these words so my second word for me was definitely classic for the third word allison says that this is the word that offers an emotional counterpoint that it describes how you want to feel in your clothes so this word uh the word powerful for example might mean colorful for one person and sexy for someone else the word sexy never means exactly the same thing to different people. Choosing this word can feel really good, like something clicking into place. And if it doesn't, that's fine too. She also says, sometimes finding your third word can take a bit of time and tinkering until you get it just right. So I went back to the wheel 
and started looking at all the other bubbles and asking myself how I want to feel. I think this one is definitely the hardest, like she says, and I think it can, for me at least, it can change sometimes depending on how I want to feel on that particular day. But I started to look at the minimal bubble. Although I've been all about details lately, I still maintain a minimal element to my outfits. Whether it's a tonal outfit or if I do big earrings, I don't do big necklaces. I try to balance things out to, as to not overwhelm the outfit. I love my neutrals so much that when I saw this word here, I knew I was on the right path. Thoughtful, polish, and modern were the other words that jumped at me and I resonated with. So my third word so far was minimal. But not to say sometimes I definitely want to feel a different way and think that and I think that the beauty of finding your words is to use them as a guide but not as a restriction, which is something that she shares uh, and that I heard her say sometimes on her reels. For me, I know minimal is definitely how I feel most of the time on my outfits, but sometimes I may want to be edgier or sexy. And for me, it's okay if I move my third word to a different direction sometimes. So remember, it's important to have fun with, with the word wheel and not feel, again, restricted. So I can say my third word is forever changing for me, depending on how I feel on that day, how I want to feel. But for the most part, yes, I definitely will want to say that minimal is in there. This book has been such a fun read. Definitely, I will recommend that you give Alison Bornstein a follow, as she's always posting also some good educational reels on her Instagram. I'm gonna link both her Instagram account and her book below for you. Now for some outfits that describe my three words. For my first outfit, the jeans and the tee and hat are a part of my undone bubble, highlighting both the words casual and sporty. The blazer adds that oversized element to the look. Uh, the blazer and the bag are basically all about the words classic, chic, elegant. I kept the accessories at a minimum with a simple black belt, a watch, and small earrings. Very fitting to my third word, minimal. Now for my second outfit, I have the same jeans, the same t-shirt and shoe um, combo. The shirt, the button down that I have on is a little bit oversized and I'm layering my white t-shirt underneath the shirt. This adds dimension and interest to the look. My bag and sunglasses are still given into that classic vibe and I still, again, kept it at a minimum with my accessories. Then of course, I started playing with my outfit and I added my green sweater over my shoulders to spice up the look. I really just love how layering different fabrics, colors help elevate an outfit. Now for my third outfit, let's talk about oversize. I love it. We have all three words here as well. This is undone, classic, you know, with the sunglasses, the bag, the shoes, giving that elevated vibe, but still keeping things at a minimal. The leather jacket here really took it to the next level, still adding into that classic vibe. For my fourth outfit, again with my three words all in one, I love the ease of the shirt, the oversized shirt with the jeans and the shoes. Again, elevating with my accessories, but still having that minimal element. Now I switched out my shoes for loafers with socks, still keeping my three words aligned. Of course, adding a hat to add that sporty vibe that was removed from my New Balance shoes without going overboard athletic. Of course, I love a pop of green here. And 
yes, I'm layering a sweater on my shoulders again. And I do love the fact that I can wear this with the hat still, or I can remove the hat if I just want to, you know, remove that sportiness on this look, but I still keep my three words. Undone, classic, and minimal. For this last look, I went for my soul of trousers. First wear, again, undone with the oversized shirt, the ease on the pants, classic with my trousers and accessories, and minimal as I keep it all neutral, tonal, with some minimal accents like the black leather bag, the black leather belt, and the gold accessories. I then layer my mock neck long sleeve under my shirt, but notice how I removed the belt here, staying true to my third word, minimal. It just felt like the gold buckle was fighting too much with the bracelet because now that one pops way more with the black long sleeve top. Now, if I remove the white button down here and have a black trousers on, I would have kept both the cuff and the belt. It's truly fun once you know your words and see them in action. It may be a lot of homework at first, but for me, it was just so much fun to learn and apply. I think it really helps for those days when your outfit just feels off. You, you know, that may mean that you perhaps are missing your, one of your words. So going back to your three words is such a helpful tool to guide you on putting your outfits together. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next video.